Hello, this is Reslin Bearcat, and welcome to our Apollo Let's Play series of Dyson Sphere Program. So let's get back. In the last episode, we actually had a plan for how we were going to solve building the gears that we need to get off this planet. And we had, so we built on, we only have one iron node here, but we, we put my uh, iron nodes, we put miners all over it right here, as you can see. And we built two mirror image items that build one per second each of gears, turbines, and super magnetic rings. And so we can see now we've actually got a supply of super magnetic rings. And that's actually, that's awesome. So we're getting those built up. We have a supply of things coming in here. We've got coal coming in. You can see we've got coal coming in there. we got coal coming in there. We're not bringing in huge supplies of it. We're bringing in a little bit of coal from over here. So just coming over here to look at this. And there's that. And then we'll look here at the blueprint just for a little bit here. So we're taking some coal, making energized graphite, turning energized graphite into diamonds, making that into tech tube proliferator. And then we're sending the tech tube proliferation around. And you can see here that it is filling up. If I look at this item, this this is filling up. Once this fills up, it'll continue on to the next item. So it's just now getting started good. And yeah, we definitely don't aren't, aren't, don't have too much of that stuff yet going anywhere. Let's see. This should fill up here right now. And there's a full, and this one should go through. Yep, there it goes. And it heads to the next item and starts proliferating that. So this, in order to produce one of this... Uh, it does require all of the items to be proliferated. Now, on this side, all of the proliferation chambers are pop are full. You're getting the full things. You can see the take two proliferation on all the items coming out here, and sending that into the. Oh, so let's go over to our interplanetary logistics ring. Oh, actually, I don't have to fly now that I think about it. I can do this right here. It is right here. I can click on this right here, and you can see that we've got gears. We are remote supplying those. We're bringing in coal from our home planet. And then what we want to do is super magnetic turbines. We want to do a local demand, and I want to... Yeah, we'll bring these in. And then remote supply. So we have these things now in transit. And we have the 20 drones, insufficient logistics drones. Well, I bet I have enough there if I do that. There we go. So the planetary logistics systems get 50 of these things. The interplanetary logistics only get 20. Interesting. I had not really thought about that, but that is something that's in there. So we're now bringing in, you can see we've got lots of gears. Um, we could use the gears to make the turbines here. We just need magnetic rings to make a bunch of turbines, and we need so many turbines, it's just unreal. Um, can I build turbines? Just out of curiosity, I can build them right here. So one of the things that I may do right quick, just because I can do this, is let's grab a, let's grab a few of these, put them right here. I got way more than I need. Okay, let's see. Shift, shift, shift. That was, uh. Let's see here. Now then, let's come here. And that is, uh. We'll produce a few of those. Now the magnetic rings require copper and magnets. Magnets require iron, and iron is just one of those things that I am so constrained on that trying to increase my production of the green gears right now is really just not going to be possible. Uh, okay. That's all I'm going to be able to make. We'll throw those back in there. Okay, and we should be pulling those through to the other planet. For distribution, I do have way more of those than I bargained for. That's because of the, uh, the production. I'm not really using them, and I was producing them like crazy. So, uh, since the other planet is building those things, it's going to back up. I'm, I'm trying to think if that's going to be a problem. I don't think it will be. It'll stop the production of these. That'll slow things down. 
but it'll just produce these. That, that'll be fine. I, I'll be fine with that. That's down the production chain far enough that it will not have any real negative impacts on me. Okay. With that in mind, we have solved this particular issue. Now, let's go back to our research and see what we were doing. We do have gas giants exploration, so we have the ability to make these things, but they're going to require the populated fuel cells, which, yeah, well, I don't have any of those at the moment, and we'll, we'll come back to that soon enough. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue down through here towards this gravitational um, component here. We also have the ability to make deuterium fuel rods, which we want to get, so we're going to activate that research. We're going to activate the research here for particle control technology. Um, deuterium Tech 3, that's going to require the high density things. We're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to do Strange Matter and then the Gravitational right Waves. So that, all of that stuff is in there. Satellite power distribution, we really don't have the goods to take advantage of that yet. Um, once we get these things done, we will probably look at doing the information matrix in the purple. We need the purple uh, science in order to get off the planet. And that's what we're going to kind of work on. So we've got our technology mapped out now and all of the items that we can do there. Are there any other upgrades that we can do that we don't have? We can't do that one. We can't do that one. We can't do that one. The mecha core. We can't do that one. We can't do this one because that requires... And that's one of the things that we're going to want. We could do solar cells, but we don't have solar cells. We could do ray efficiency, but we don't have ray efficiency. So that doesn't do us any good. Vertical construction, we can go another level on that. We can do cargo stacking. We can't do the logistics range. We can do the capacity. and we, So we will do the capacity on that. That'll be one of the items to queue up. Veins utilization we can't do, and research speed requires purple. So we're getting close to having finished everything we can do with yellow. And we still have some technologies that we can do here, and we will probably throw some of these in at the end. We'll do lightweight structures, just some of these we're not building yet, but we might as well get the research done and over with. Uh, let's see. And then we will do... We'll queue that up as number seven. So we'll have it unlocked once we finish all of this research. Okay, with that in place, we've got our research queue set for the next uh, episode and a half, I would say, probably. We are pulling out resources here. We're pulling in ore, and you can tell copper ore is there and being fed in here. We're feeding it into this entire logistics station. From here, it's being sent over to these other ones. So we just get drones going everywhere. That's good. We got the things here. Let's go check on our proliferation over here. It looks like it has made it all the way to the end. Yes, we have the proliferation going all the way through now. So we're set. And we have here the items being supply, supply, supply. We are supplying these items. Now, wait a minute. I am seeing an issue here. Or a little bit of an issue. There should be three. Oh, look at that. That belt's not finished. Hmm. Things that make you say, hmm. That would be when I created the blueprint. That'll be a problem on the other side as well. I'll need to fix my blueprint. Fascinating. Look at that. I wonder why that belt didn't go anywhere. I guess now we know. Haha. <laughs> look at there. This is the reason you check things out and you look at it. There we go. We have a one per second of each of those items going. And it is producing more and more of it. Okay. With that in place now, we have a lot of gears. If we had magnetic rings, we would we, we could make even more stuff. But we are constrained on what we can do for magnetic rings. So, let's see. Let's... I'm going to drop those in there, drop those in there. I am going to drop those on there. There's no reason to have that in the inventory. Okay, very good. And that has a hundred there. And it's making everything we need. Okay, so let's now turn our attention to the next thing that we need. And this is one of the things that I was looking at 
with uh, with the uh, one of the limitations that we have right now. Let's see here. We'll fill that up. We'll put those over here. Um, if we we need, we've got titan we've got a hack put together for titanium alloy. We have a little bit of the particle containers that are being built, but we need the particle containers to be being, we need more of them. We need at least one per second being built. Well, that'd be ideal, but I mean, we're not going to get that. But let's go build what we can on the particle containers and see what we can do. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our home planet. Well, let's hop up in the, the sky. And let's see, there's a logistics vessel. We'll just follow it. And there's Apollo 3. We'll leave Apollo 4 at the moment. Don't need anything from Apollo 4. We want to go back to Apollo 3 and we want to get particle containers, a better solution put together for particle containers. Now we don't have very far to go this time. And we really do want to get to the gas giants. So we're, we're kind of working through the list of things that we need in order to do that. There is going to be some work that we need to do on our mall. We're going to do here before too much longer. Whoa! As I crash land into the planet. Let's see, that is the North Pole, and my mall is going to be over here somewhere, right over there, the direction I'm facing. So we'll just hop up in here and head over here. Now we can see there, we got steel coming in there, we got resource nodes here being iron coming out there, stone, there's more iron coming out there, we, st we just don't have a lot of iron. That is just one of our limitations that we have to deal with right now. Okay, and let's see right here. We have green gears coming out here and being distributed wherever they need to go. And those are being provided out. Now, I don't have interstellar logistics station. These items are being brought in. Look at that, I have processors. Ah, that's, that's very nice. I'm really not doing anything right now with the silicon. We may, we may fix that very soon. I'm going to end up putting a second one of these down here sh just shortly. But what we're going to do for the moment is come back over here and see what I can do about getting some particle containers built. So we've got a little hack building them right here. We're delivering, drones are delivering gears over here. And then that's delivering items right here. And these items are going to be needed to build other things. So that, that's one of the things that I need right here. Uh, those particle containers need to be on a belt down here. Well, interesting. I've got them being delivered down here. Huh, not bad. So they are coming down here. But I have some new items that we need to build. So I, I've got a little bit of production of those going on. Could certainly use more. But, you know... Let's, we have what we have. Let's let's live with it right now. So one of the things that I need to do is build interplanetary logistics systems. I don't have those automated right now. And let's see what they require. And this is where it may be time to redo some of my mall just a little bit. And once again, you know, pull everything down and or, or at least reorganize it a little bit. There's just a little bit of stuff that I need to do here. But let's see. On the buildings, let's see what the planetary logistics say. So I need this coming in. I don't have titanium alloy down here. I need titanium alloy coming down here. And I need the particle containers. And I am building the particle containers. I may not be building them fast enough. I have one manufacturer building them. But, uh, so I'm getting one every four seconds. Is that right? Yeah, that is correct. I am getting one every four seconds. Let's see. And that thing needs green gears. What if I was to redo this? I got plenty of space here. Let's just redo this right quick. We'll take that out. Let's cut that right there. Take that out right there. Well, it doesn't want to let me do that. That's because it thinks I don't have any of them. But I do have some of them. Okay, and I want to take that out right there. Now, with this in place, what we'll do is 
Let's take this belt here. We're just going to run it right down through here. And then we're going to grab that and put those right there. Uh, what was the problem? I don't know what the problem was. It didn't build. Okay. Alright, so we put this in here. So we're just building some items out here. We're going to put the gears out on the on the belt here. And then we're going to take this titanium. Right down through here. And then we will bring this stuff right down through here. Put that there. Put that there. Fill that up with drones. We will provide this to other troopers. And then what we want to do here is do 10 of them. And now then. Let's see, let's put that in there. We will take that in there, that in there. Let's see here. And it needs, what does this thing need? Oh, it needs a graphing. Well, How was I building this thing? Because there is no graphene there. That is graphene right there. Oh, that's graphene. Okay. That's how I'm doing it. And then I just need copper. So that was the only thing I had here, was the copper right there. And... Of course, I need some... Well, I need this. Alright. So we'll hook that up, we'll hook that up, we'll hook that up. There we go. And then we will... Let's see. We'll take... One there and one there. We're gonna... We're gonna fill... But we are not gonna need anywhere near that number, are we? That's three per second. That's going to be... One half per second, one half per second. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that. So I'm going to do that with just one of those. There we go. Like that. And then what we're going to do. Let's see. This here. This here. This here. This here. And look at there. We have a solution that is producing 4 per second of the particle containers. Wonderful. And then the particle containers are being flown to where they need to be down here. And now that we've got particle containers right here, let's see. Those are coming out right there. Let's upgrade that belt right there. And then what I want to do, let's see. That's titanium. Let's see here. If I'm going to build one of these... I need titanium alloy, which I don't have. I need the other vials, and then I need those. So I need titanium alloy. I really need to move this. And I need to bring in titanium alloy. So this probably needs to relocate. And I need a, uh, I'm going to need a planetary logistics system. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to take that out and that out. That may break things for a moment. We are going to grab a planetary logistics system. We're going to put it right there. We are going to move this just to get it out of the way. We'll put it right there. Uh, actually, put that back. Let's take this right here. 
Put that on there. Put that on there. And then this. Let's take as many belts as we can get. Because this stuff, it, you, the things that use this, use a lot of it. Okay, and that'll just be passed through. Oh, and this right here will be those items right there. And that's going to be demand. And we're going to have that be set to 600. you do that okay all right there we go demand and then this is going to be asking for these things right here it is not going to be doing anything it's going to be doing this right here and let's get the power hook back up and we will be ready to go with this so this will come to here, and to here, and then we will drive this right over here. That will, that, everything's going back up. Now then, with that in place, we need to think about how we're going to do our production here. In fact, I want to change this a little bit. There we go. There we go, put that out through here. I want to bring the titanium. Like that. There we go. Now then, we can come in here and build us a atom. Oh, there we go, particle control technology, wonderful. We have some new items. Let's get a start. Some of these items we'll put this right here and this is going to be building interstellar planetary logistics systems so i want a stack of these so we're also going to need titanium alloy now that means this right here i want to be requesting titanium alloy let's grab a thousand of it we will demand it oh look at that we already have it inbound did i put any drones in here I don't think I did. Well, there are drones in there. Very good. I get drones. All right. Now then, once again, this is going to take. So it's going to take that, it's going to take that, we're going to want to come over here and do this, and we are going to want to that, that's going to be, we just want one stack right now. Later we'll be building more of these, but right now we want one stack of those, one stack of those. Should be asking for at least 10. What's at least five? And we always have a few of them. Um, while we're here, let's drop the drone towers on there. And get some drones on here. Charge that up. Alright, now with that in place, what's the other item I need for these? I need that titanium alloy. That's titanium right there. And I need titanium alloy to come around here. Okay, let's see. Getting tired of doing that every time I turn around. We'll come around this way right here. To here. 
right now we're just gonna bring it like that right there and since that is so far over there I'm gonna take a green one that is now hooked up only thing we need when you're short on power let's stick a power pole right there will solve that problem and now we just need items coming out of here so this right here should be this right here look at that that's coming out and this right here should be that right there and it's also coming out those are already being requested and brought over here very good request from other distributors there we go so i want those coming in and being requested and then these should be provided to other Distributors, there we go. And there we go. I will produce 10 of those there. 600 of those there. I should be able to produce those. And it should keep me supplied, whether well, the best that it can, with these items right here. And this, once it fills up, But it is requiring how much titanium alloy does it take oh it takes 40 of them oh well it won't be fast but it will get us there so we have a few more items being produced we have the interstellar planetary logistics being produced if we've watched this for you for a second we're almost to the number we need we need 40 of them and then it'll take 30 seconds to build one of those so while that's going, let's look at a couple of other things we that we can build now. Uh, we need to build a fractionator. We don't have that in our logistics tree. I believe that might be something that would come down here and build. Let's see, what does a fractionator require? An interesting question. Glass, steel, stone, and processors. So yeah, that, I've got the processors. I've got the glass and the, the stone and the steel right there. I've got glass there. And I could bring it down and around here. I'm bringing it down here. And the processors are right there. I can bring them down here and put in my fractionator right here. So that is something that we will set up as well. Because we're going to need fractionators. And we're going to need them very soon. So that right there is going to be fractionators. Now the next thing that we need, looking at our list here, we're going to need energy exchangers. And we have quite a bit of the things that we need down here. We've got the processors, we've got that that is close by. We have the titanium alloy being produced and brought in. Like I said, I'm not in any great quantity on any of that stuff, but it is coming in. So let's see. And that's coming out on a six per second belt. I think just because of the speed on this, we're going to hook another one of those up. See if we can't get that thing running a little bit faster. Given how many of those things it needs, we probably ought to be. Let's see how many of the. And it needs 20 of the interstellar logistics system, so we might as well upgrade this. And if I have. I do have a few of them. Let's take those and while we're upgrading stuff, let's upgrade that and that to blue. That should make it start running as much as possible. Okay. And I have this, I now have, I have five of them only and it will produce a stack. That way I'll always have 10 and five. I will later do that. Now I don't think I'm building the drones. We do have to automate the drones too. Let's go see what it takes to automate the drones. That needs these, which also takes titanium alloy and gears. Okay, that'll be a use for the gears. That uh, that requires the super magnetic rings, which we're now making, but it requires some other things as well. And this requires the titanium alloy. Okay, so we definitely can put some more items down here in our mall and build out some, a few more things with the logistics vessels and other things that are coming in. So that'll be for the next episode and uh, we'll be back. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available and check out the link shown here for more gameplay. Take care.